up guys and welcome back to face of a matter it is your girl jay here and in today's video i wanted to show you guys how i achieved this go-to quick easy fro i promise you it's a lot quicker and a lot less time consuming than my updated twist out routine now that is my updated twist out routine but i did come across a video that really inspired me to try to do it another way which is a lot less time and the results are honestly really amazing so if you never heard of the notorious kia she is actually a fellow youtuber on here on youtube she does hair videos fashion makeup you name it but she mainly does like fashion videos and i'm really inspired by her but she um has her signature fro that she's really known for and i will link her video down below if you have not seen it yet or if you are interested in her video but i was intrigued to try it on myself i even messaged her i said hey i'm trying out your hair stuff like i just really want to see how this is gonna come out she was like let me know how it comes out i was like girl it came out bomb so i wanted to try it again for youtube and just show you guys how i've been doing it and honestly i really like it um, this is probably gonna be like my go-to fro like on dirty hair when I just really need something quick and easy That's not gonna take up too much time Especially if I don't have time to wash my hair and all of that extra stuff So I was inspired by her video so make sure you guys check out her video I'll leave it down below and make sure you guys subscribe to her channel So yeah, if you guys are interested in how I achieved this fro Just make sure you keep on watching Let me know down below in the comments if you like this one better than my previous one It's okay if you do I, I understand but no honestly the results are pretty bomb So let's go ahead and get started all right, so first things first. My hair is a complete frizz ball, you guys. All right, let me get my mirror together so I can see what I'm doing. Okay, so my hair is a super frizz ball right now. I don't even know what this is. This is a previous twist out plus a braid up, but I love starting out with this. My hair has not been washed, my hair has not. So this is like dirty hair. So this is what I'm gonna do when my hair is not clean and I need something quick and on the go and I don't have to start from scratch. All right, so first things first, I'm going to start sectioning off my hair. I love starting with the back. That's usually what I do anyway. I'm gonna just try and separate my hair in half. It doesn't have to be even. I do not care. Like being natural, I'm telling you, I do not care for nothing to be symmetrical, even, same amount on both sides. Like, nah, just split it with your finger and go. Okay, so I'm gonna take this section of hair. Next, I'm gonna take a spray bottle. This is the 360 Mister. I got this from Sally's, but I think other brands sell it. But this one was probably like $2 or something from Sally's, you can't beat that. And I'm not gonna be adding any more product simply because I already have product in my hair from my previous twist outs and stuff. So just me spritzing my hair a little bit is going to help I'm um, kind of bring that product back to life type of thing and I don't have to worry about reapplying now what I could do is add some oil just for some shine so I'm gonna take my Mish polished hair and scalp oil I have a discount code down below in the description bar if you're interested in getting um, any of the products from Mish. So what I'm doing is I'm going to finger detangle. First, let me spritz my hair with a little bit of water. The trick with this is to not drench your hair because I'm gonna be sleep and I do not want this take all day. It's kinda how it was in my updated twist out routine. I don't want my hair to be drenched. I just want a little bit of dampness just so my hair could restore an, an entire new type of curl pattern with what I'm gonna do. So with that, I'm going to finger detangle. And this doesn't even have to be exact either. I just like to do it just a little bit, just so I'm not working with complete kinks. Now I will kind of add more water to my ends just because those Buster Rhymes can get a little haywire. There is my Demon brush. Just gonna comb my ends, not the entire thing, just my ends. And now what I'm gonna do is just take those two big fat chunks and we're just gonna twist nice and tightly. And once I get towards the end, just like any other time, I will comb my ends again, just to make sure those are secure. Now, depending on how tight, how curly you want your curls to be, since my hair is not that long, I mean, it's, it's, it's lengthy, but it's not super long, so I won't need the really, the really big rollers. I can kind of use the pink ones as of right now. Sometimes I do use the yellow ones, and then sometimes I will use these. I think these will be too big for the style that I'm trying to do right now because of the fatter chunks. So I like to go with the pink ones because these, this one's a little bit bigger than the yellow. Make sure the end is wrapped around first. Make sure it's secured. I'm gonna take the rod and then I'm going to hold it. I'm going to twist it all the way around. 
Now, if you want, you can take it all the way up to the root. I'm going to, even though I don't have a whole lot of room to work with, mine's naturally probably not even gonna stay up at the root anyway. So mine is just focusing on the ends, if you can see. Now you could do this style the same day that you're going out. You may at least wanna give it depending on what type of hair you have and how fast your hair really dries or if you're gonna sit up under a dryer or if you're not, will kind of help depend on how wet you want your hair to be, if at all. Comb those ends, honey. Then once, like, once I do it twice, I kind of pull it that way. I don't know if that's good, it might break your hair out, I don't know. But I just wanna make sure it's tight all the way to the root because I just, I wanna avoid just my ends being curled. All right, that's as good as that one's gonna get. Prime rod, twist, twist until you feel it secured and then lock it in place. And it's really minimal effort. I mean, it's just the same thing as doing like a two strand twist, that whole thing. But because we're doing bigger chunks, man, I tell you the time is cut back so much and I'm so grateful for that because man. Oh, also guys, I cracked my phone today. Like I've just been having a crazy day. Can you guys see that? I don't know if you guys can see, but I shattered my phone, but I couldn't even be mad because I was giving God some praise when I did it and it flew out of my pocket. I actually met a subscriber today, which was super refreshing and very humbling. Her name is Tyrella Sawyer. So you guys make sure, she put me on her story today. So make sure you guys um, follow her. Ooh, okay, actually she is going to be, she's running for junior class vice president at her college. Ooh, go girl. So I'm, I'm gonna put her name down here. So make sure you guys Let's go follow her. All right, last one. Now I will say probably as my hair gets longer, I won't have to do as many. I could definitely do um, pretty much how Notorious KIA does hers. Her hair is a lot longer than mine, so she's able to take fatter chunks and twist them. As my hair is shorter, of course, you wanna make your twist shorter so you can get more definition. All right, now I'm gonna take some bobby pins and like one like this that's not really trying to co-op and you don't really want it to move. I'm gonna stick a bobby pin in it. Now just take your favorite bonnet. This is a silk bonnet I got from the dollar store. You can find these anywhere like Walmart, dollar store, Sally's. Sally, don't go to Sally's, cause Sally's gonna overcharge you. Just go to the dollar store and get one for like a dollar. So yeah, so that's pretty much it. I'm gonna hit the sack, go to bed. I'm gonna eat, pray, read, watch TV, whatever. Sleep through the night and I'll see you guys in the morning. All right guys, so it is currently the next day, so I am I've been anticipating doing my hair, so let me go ahead and get it done. So it feels dry, it better be dry, I promise you, it better be dry. Go ahead and just unravel these. All right, so all the perm rods and bobby pins are out, so now I'm gonna go back in with my hair oil, and now we're just gonna go through and unravel all of them. All right, so now that all the twists are out, I'm gonna go ahead and start pulling some of the curls apart. Now with this look, it's very effortless. It's very, this is not the type of hairstyle that's you know gonna be minimal frizz, all that type of stuff, so be prepared for that. This is just one of those effortless froze. I'm not gonna pull the front apart as much as I'm gonna do like the middle and the back. Okay, so now for the magic, you wanna get a pick. Get you a pick that can get into the roots and puff up those roots and just really fluff out your hair. This is, of course, definitely customizable up to your preference, whatever you want, however you want your fro to be. I want it big and I want it poofy, so I'm just gonna go through and pick like crazy. One little trick I like to do when the front doesn't like to lay down is I'm gonna take a bobby pin and I'm just going to lay that part down that's not trying to lay just so it could sit. Um, I'm gonna leave it like that for a little while and then I can take it off and then it'll be back to normal. But I just want my hair to lay down and when it doesn't, you gotta do what you gotta do. Let me 
see how it just gets it to lay down. Why is my makeup around my mouth turning gray? What the death? I don't get why it's changing colors. I've never seen that happen. All right guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun doing this and honestly, this is perfect for a quick, easy, on the go, get it done curly fro, you know what I'm saying? Honestly, this whole entire process maybe took me about 30, 35 minutes. I may even extend it to 40, but I don't think it was about 40. Literally about 30, 35 minutes it took me. It was quick, it was easy, not a whole lot of work. I got it done. I think the only reason why it may took me a little bit longer is because in the front, I made them a lot smaller just because like I said before, then my hair is not as long as hers or it's just not all the way down here to where I can make them really big. So some of them I do have to make a little bit small. And as you can see, the difference in them, it does make a difference if you make them smaller because these are more curled compared to these up here which are kind of more on the frizzier side, but I kind of like the combination of frizzy and curly. That way it kind of looks more effortless. But anyway guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you like this one better than my updated twist out routine, which I'm pretty sure you might because this one was a lot shorter, you know, you save time with this one. So again guys, thank you so much for watching. So of course, if you're new, I'm Jay, and if you're not new, I just thank you so much for supporting me with whatever I do here with my channel. I love each and every one of you to know in, and of course, until next time, God willing, I will definitely see you all in my next video. Mwah.